nope. Just going to go out there and compete, you know, just like we were playing anybody else. Did you get to know uh, Andrew Luck at all uh, as a guy uh, last postseason when you guys were kind of presenting awards? Yeah, you know, he's he's a great guy. You know, he's really humble. He's down to earth. Uh, it's everything that everybody said about him. Um, apparently he's God, you know, uh, I watch football, you know, it's, that's what I see all the time. So like I watch NFL, I see him, I watch ESPN, I see him, uh, I guess we have to get him a commercial too. Oh, uh, I think, you know, just knowing him personally, I, I mean, I probably don't even think he even likes the hype. Uh, I'm sure he probably doesn't even watch TV. <laughs> I think he had like a flip phone, cell phone. No, he's really chilled and down there. So I'm sure that he, he handles it really well. Um, I mean, I don't even think we even knew. You know, like no one really cares who's the underdog or for a post to win. It doesn't really matter. You know, that's why the game is played on the field. Rob, getting more comfortable playing with the brace, and if you had to take it off at this point, would it take an adjustment period to get get back normal? Uh, no. You know, uh, I don't really practice with it on, so. I don't think it really matter, you know. Uh, I'm really enjoy wearing it. You know, it's not that bad at first. Uh, it took a little bit to get used to, but it's it's really fine right now. Hey, Mike, uh, what do you remember from the game you guys had that there in 2009? Sort of the crowd, you know, um, really flat. Uh, we were really, really flat. I should say, uh, the crowd really wasn't a factor. Uh, we had to bring our own, our own energy. Uh, Hopefully we get a lot of Duck fans, you know, maybe we should print that in the paper that, you know, I said we need a lot of Duck fans to come to Palo Alto, cheer us on, because we're really going to need to go in against a great opponent like Stanford, and uh, we can try to make it a home game. Warren, Michael, what do you uh, remember about last year playing against uh, Stanford's defensive line, and what do you expect from them? They're aggressive, uh, physical team, uh, so I hear. Uh, I mean, we're physical too, so that's the only thing that – you just got to go out there and compete. You know, at this time of the year, everybody's going to play hard, and uh, they're a great team. You just got to go out there and compete. For you as a runner, does it make any difference to you playing on grass as opposed to playing on turf? I like playing on grass. Uh, I really don't like playing on turf. You know, I seem like everybody in the pack has different turf. Uh, I would rather, much rather play on grass. Kind of a follow-up question on Ross. I mean, there are three or four puts more linebackers in space. Does that change the way you read things coming off the ball? I mean, is it still insane? Uh, no, not really. You know, you get past that, then it's probably going to be a touchdown. You know, uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of defense they run. Uh, we're going to continue to do what we do, and uh, they're going to continue to do what they do. Do you like the, everyone to, to know exactly how tough you guys are and how physical you guys are as a team as well? You're not just the best team out there when you play national football as well. Yeah, I, I take it personal. I really do. Uh, we're going to be aggressive come Saturday, and uh, it's not like a trash talk, but I'm sure we're going to be aggressive come that day. They're an aggressive team, but... What team in college football is not aggressive? You know, uh, we're not a finesse team. We just have fast players, <laughs> so I guess that's the difference. But to say we're not aggressive, that's, I mean, I don't think that we're not. You know, we're, we're aggressive. We're going to go out there and compete. Uh, can't wait to Saturday. Do you try to disregard to some extent kind of who you're going against so that you can run instinctively or things like that? I mean, how much do you worry much about scheme and strategy that the other defense is going to, the defense is going to throw out there against? Uh, I don't worry about a zero. You know, half the time I don't even pay attention to what defense they run. Uh, I just look at the players and see how they move. But, you know, four is they run a three, four, or whatever they're going to run. That stuff really doesn't matter to me. Well, it took it probably about a game, you know, just to get used to. Because, I mean, I just wasn't, you know, getting hit in practice with it on. And I wasn't running really fast with it on. Or just, you know, going through live drills and blocking and uh, just going throughout the game with it on. So it only took about a game. Uh, you know, uh, the way he practices, he practices hard, and, uh, you know, he's a phenomenal player, and uh, he picked up on the offense really fast. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys you have to get in, get in space and give him the ball and uh, let him do what he do. So, I mean, he, he does everything right, and uh, he's a phenomenal player for us. Just wondering, in general, you had 25 carries and tough yards against the Huskies. Uh, how are you feeling the last, the last couple of days? Do you feel refreshed? Like, you shook off all that rest for just a couple of days? Yeah, I feel good. Uh, I'm used to, you know, getting the ball that many times. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, I think I play enough football, you know, know how to fall and take on hits. Uh, so it's not that bad at all.